Okay then guys, so I've just come out to do a little bit of micro fishing. I've uh, picked up some of these Coram minnows, the drop shot minnows. Fold up now, quite, quite nice. I've just got them on a, uh, what are the aeroplanes? On a size 8 jig head. It, uh, it swims perfect in water with this, uh, I think it's a 1.9 gram, uh, sorry, 0.9 gram uh, jig head. So uh, I sort of had a lot of play around there. I think I figured out how to work it best. Uh, but the water's very coloured today, so but it's also that kind of weird time of year where the fish can be really lethargic or they can be super active because the temperature's so up and down and inconsistent. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna have to try both uh, slow jigging and uh, just reeling it back, but twitching it so it gets a, a nice like, body roll to it as well as the tail flicking about. So uh, aim of today is to try and catch a few perch and then we'll, uh, it's obviously a roach will have a peck at this as well. Um, and then we'll swap over to something uh, a bit more all inclusive like a little worm or something like we did in that uh, in the last micro fishing video so uh, I think there's some fish back because there was a heron just perched up there there it's just taken off as I was walking around the corner so hopefully we'll find uh, a few fry or something around there that we can get a little bit of sport out of because uh, fishing this place uh, a few times before with the small stuff a lot of perch like clinging to the tins on this edge down here so uh, I'm hoping that's where there's going to be one added out and I'm kind of hoping that this law's too small to trigger a pike into biting because it, it's a little bit bigger than the rest of the ones I've got in my box and it's uh, five centimeters in size which is typical sort of swim bait looking looking jobby so uh, and we all know uh, pike like swim baits so we'll see well, I'm saying that, but the main reason I don't want to bite of it is because it took me 25 minutes to try and tie two pound line to five pound braid. Oh, there's a fish. Where is it? Oh, it's a little perch. Oh, he's off. <laughs> When it comes to all types of fishing, uh, like today, it's, it's a lot warmer than most other days. Um, sometimes, when you're struggling, especially on canals, to find fish, it could just be a matter of finding where there's a bit more flowing water, a bit more oxygen. And this canary the background, there is a, you know, a lock with a flush coming down it, pumping out plenty of water. So, a little bit of low, might find some perch knocking about. So, uh, we're best chucking to find out. Especially first, the water's flowing against this wall, so I'm going to try against the wall. And hopefully, it's going to hang it on just the edge of that slope. I don't know if I'm not actually in shot. So, we're struggling to find fish. So, uh, I've just seen one top over here. Um, I'll see if he's hungry or if there's any perch watching him about. I don't know. To, we just gotta try. I don't know why it's so hard today. Well, there's like 80 million perch about. And that's all you'd find. Try and go a little bit slower, but I don't want to snag up. Put in a fish bosh out. Oh, 
Oh, that was big. That was big. Whoever that was, it was big. <sighs> nice, got back in quick. That was a big fish. Probably a little that much on camera, but he, he pulled. Got it. Got it. I don't know what it is, but it's big. Yeah, the snags. I want to say it's a chub. But he's, he's going. Big chub. Big, big chub. It's big, 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 big chub. Why don't I bring my big net? <laughs> That's a big chub. Oh, I don't put any more drag on it. That is a nice job. <laughs> That's on a three pound. Oh, maybe four, maybe four pound. He's a big one. Oh, I want scrap and all. Yeah, that's a nice, nice job. Leave me net, I need me net. I don't know if he's going to fit. Yep, he's a really, really fat, probably three pound chub. And I just spat everywhere. Oh, and that worm as well. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And GoPro's about to die. So we'll uh, get him sorted out. We'll have a look on camera. We finally found a fish that uh, is a very good calibre. Uh, especially for, for light laws. Uh, if you're a specimen on the tree, it's no good because he's probably just scraping three pounds. But he's got the body of a two pounder. He's just extremely, extremely fat. Uh, and I mean, with a belly like that, I mean, you can just see it under there. He is a prime example of a chub. So, he's <laughs> got an absolutely fantastic scrap. I was not expecting that, so I was casting completely the wrong direction. That one was just right up against the wall where you'd expect to say, find a little little perch or, well, basically a little perch. Um, so yeah, there was well out the main current, I've got it. And uh, yeah, very welcome fish, very, very welcome fish. I mean, then, any time you're fishing a chub is, is definitely welcome. So I'll get a quick snap of him and he's going straight back. One last look before he swims off. He rests in there for about five minutes. Excellent, absolutely excellent. I have no idea what I've hooked. It's been on for about a minute now. And I feel it's a big perch or it's a chub. It's a massive chub, another chub. What are the chances? the hell? Again, he's up against the lock gate. That's bigger than the first one. Look at that. That's on the uh, Corum Minnow. Come on, don't, don't do us. He's got a right scrap on him. Now I've never had a chub down here before. This is like the perch swim. I was just bouncing it on bottom and uh, big mum out over here. He was about four pounds. I need to come over here. Come on, you big girl. It's massive. He's huge. Need a bigger net. That's a massive, massive job. And I thought the last one was four pounds and it was about two. Yeah, I need more slacking. Do the minnow there on its lip. Oh, that's a big old chub. Look at that, filled me net up. He's about four bad. See the minnow in its mouth. It's that uh, blue and white there. He's getting all the attention earlier. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this one. 
you got a GoPro with oh, open that. Okay, so we here's that job that we just caught. <laughs> I thought he might have been well behaved, but he's not. So uh if you look at that, that is a uh, probably close to four pounder on a minnow law, <laughs> the five cent of it a minnow in the, one of my go-to perch rims. Uh, I nearly gave up, I had a couple of chucks and didn't get knock nothing. And then I was like, stuff it, that'll sink a little bit slower, hit a little bit deeper, and work it slower. Bounce the bottom two, three times and this thing absolutely whacked it. GoPro weren't running, so I only got half the fight. But uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, this has turned out to be. It turned out it was so hard to start with, and I've had two great massive job. So I'm quite happy with that. Uh, get a picture, and you can go back. That's yeah, probably because my reels all tangled up. Bloody wind knots. That's, that's had it, I'm not going to lie, this line is giving up on life, it's like me in a minute when I can't get undone, and it just snapped, so I'm going out. <laughs>